Yeah, sure. we're doing this for you, but it's also a reminder to ourselves. These people are trash. Hi! Hi. We're back again, and uh, this week we wanted to talk about the types of trash that we see on Grindr. Okay, so let's define trash then, because people have to know what are trash, right? It means like if you're looking for a serious relationship on any dating apps, for example, like Grindr, and those people that you shouldn't be wasting your time on, mm -hmm. you should avoid. A scammer. Scammers. They're not even gay. They just no. dare to try to trick you. So the thing that's really popular now is Chinese guys trying to, they're also always really handsome, but you can tell because their their pictures are too good. Then they would say, oh, I'm here to invest with like my uncle, like I'm trying to do business here. The guy was chatting to me over a number of days and he was, it was just basic flirting and just kind of nice, mm. casual chat. In the middle of the conversation, he would say, oh, I have to go make an investment, I'll be back. And then he'd be back in like, 15 minutes and then he would be like, oh, I made 10% on my investment. And I was like, okay, great, good for you. Happened like two or three times at more and I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And so then I just called him out on it and he, uh, I think he blocked me right after. Yeah. I mean, like if you tell them to come out for dinner or anything, yeah. you want to see them, like they're just make up like yeah. really bullshit excuses yeah. and try to avoid it, yeah. right? So I say, we match or whatever, and I say hello to him in, in Japanese. He goes, I can't read Japanese, I'm overseas Chinese. I say, okay, so you don't live in Japan. He says, I'm in Shinjuku, you? I just came to work. And instantly I'm like, really, Corona? You're coming to work? That's weird. Mm. So then I'm like, oh, uh -huh, in Shinjuku, what hotel? And then, I'll, oh, I'm not staying at a hotel, I'm staying at a friend's house. So this is another guy, look, see, he's handsome, right? I can't even see the picture. Okay, yeah, he's very handsome. Right? Too, too, too he's too handsome, to be real. yeah. We start chatting and he just sends me his line information. And I said, do you live in Tokyo? And then he says, yes. And I ask him where, and then he responds. Osaka. <laughs> really? Just as I thought, trash. These people are trash. Throw them out, block them, import them. They're not worth your, they're not worth anyone's time. They shouldn't be on Grindr. They shouldn't be like, on Grindr. Give us peaceful grinder like us, also those people yeah. like sending you links tell you to click on them like yeah. to check them out like fuck no yeah. like i'm not gonna check you out it's already Waste so of everyone's it's time it's already so hard to be gay you know like mm -hmm. and stop like sending us notification the phone will send us a notification about someone tap us or we get excited message. yeah we're excited yeah. then yeah. we turn up no, uh, this is kind of bullshit yeah. again next one we have um cheaters <laughs> you remembered it well, yeah. I got recently someone saying like, oh, you know what? I'm looking for someone to chat with, to have fun, but I have a boyfriend, so I cannot send you my pictures because I'm afraid my boyfriend's gonna get mad at me. Then I'm like, oh, so you're trying to do something that you don't want your boyfriend to find out. You're trying to cheat to make your miserable relationship to feel a little bit better about yourself. Then he said, like, yeah, I guess. I mean, just please. break up. <laughs> like, yeah, just break up. Or, or you know what? Have a conversation with your boyfriend. Like, oh, I'm upset or I'm not satisfied in the relationship. Like, work it out. Or sometimes you even meet them. You know, like after you meet them, there's, yes, there is a good chemistry sometimes. They're good people. But then you just go into their trap because they cannot break up with their boyfriends. They cannot start a real thing with you. Yeah. So you're just being kept as a side thing secretly when they feel like, when they feel like they yeah. need some physical comfort and put you aside again, yeah. go back to their happy family, happy, happy. family. So, so if you see those people, like you think, oh, maybe there's a chance that they will break up with your boyfriend and be together with you. No. Give it up. They don't know how to have this conversation with their boyfriend or they don't know how they can live life without them or this and that. Like they have all these things that are influencing their decision. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're, you know, terrible people, but the thing is, is that they're being dishonest. And even if they were going to break up with their boyfriend and be with you, do you want to be that person? Because you will become that person to someone else, right? They're eventually going to have an issue with you. And instead of coming to talk to you about it, they're going to go on Grindr. And when people say they have a partner, just say no. No. Like, definitely just reject them. No. On and the then come step. find our profiles. <laughs> Body pic only or just animal pictures. Yeah, animal scenery. pictures, yeah. <laughs> Get off. Mount, Mount Fuji. Every time I try to think, okay, I'm gonna give everyone a chance because dating someone is not only about physical attraction. I have to be open-minded and connect this way, heart yeah. to heart, right? And I, I try to be open-minded, but every time I meet them, they're just... I don't want to say in a mean way. They're like, ugly. They're, 
That's what it is. They're just um, not confident. Maybe that's the why they're not attractive. Attractive. Like, like I, I don't. Like, it's, it, we, I know we sound mean to say it, but I know that we're not the most beautiful people in the world. But like, they're just not my type because beauty is by someone's eyes. Beauty. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Literally, every time I see someone who is just a body picture, if they write me, I'm just like, no, I can't. I, I, can't I even try to give them a chance, but every time I just feel so, like, regretted that it's, You betrayed I, it almost, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Regardless, you are going to build up an expectation in your mind of who they are as a, as a person. So it doesn't actually help them to not sh send a picture. Had they actually probably showed you their picture at the start and you, they weren't your type, at least you would know. Your expectation was set low and it's kept like that. Then you can be like, wow, this person is kind of fun to talk to. Let's go meet them. I know they're not really my type, but I'll give them a shot. Because That's true. it's right? Because it's mm -hmm. going up. They say, I'll probably, you know, I'll probably be your type. I'm usually people's type. And then you meet them, and you're like, you're definitely on my type. That's <laughs> wasted everyone's time. And it's kind of betrayed you because you were going to the thing thinking this guy says he's not bad or that I'll probably yeah. like him. And so it's 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 a form of being dishonest. These people are trash. A slow responser. Do you say that? Like a slow replier. If someone's taking forever to respond. Like days. Days. It's, they're probably not interested in yeah, you. But because maybe... that's, that's what people say. Is they go on and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy. No, you weren't really busy. They're not comfortable with just saying, I'm sorry, you're not my type. Yeah. But so... the thing is, is, is it unfortunately gives us false hope. Yeah. when they don't say it. And oh, when do you want to meet? Okay, let's do something next week. And you're like, okay. And then they, they don't respond for like two or three days and then they're like, oh, I'm busy. Just move on. They don't like you. Mm. Wasting your time, um, those people. In the closet, bye. It is a, like a mixture of number point two and point, point three because they're cheating, because they have a yeah. relationship, they're married, they're like straight. Usually to a woman. They don't have a picture. Yeah. So because they have in a marriage, they're not allowed to, they're, they're so afraid that something goes wrong that will ruin their That their wives marriage. are gonna download Grindr and then find them <gasps> on Grindr. The difficult part I think about Japan is the ideas of being gay and also the ideas of being in the closet and all the, even marriage and relationships, of course, it's all very different from other countries. Also, and just in general, the social stigma here, it's just not a good idea, you know, mm. to, to break up your marriage and then become gay. It's not, it's, it's like super, super taboo. I can't speak for all countries, but like coming from like North America, thinking, I might think, oh, the marriage is a sham. It'll break because it's not, it's not real and he'll need to come out and he'll need to, you know, blah, blah, blah. Here, it's like, no, you can totally keep the marriage going on as it is. Yeah. And he doesn't need to come out because also coming out is not a strong necessity here. So you're just gonna be a side piece. You're not gonna get anything more. That's the reason I broke gay. up with my first, first yeah. boyfriend because yeah. he always wanted to marry a woman yeah. to be seen to as normal, fit in. to fit yeah. in, yeah. to survive. Even if you marry a woman, it doesn't make you straight trash it's a good reminder to ourselves yeah sure. we're doing this for you but it's also a reminder to ourselves like awesome. stop wasting time on those people because yeah. we end up with frustration with dissatisfaction falling into the same sort of trap traps. over and over, over and again over. so every time we feel we encounter those cases we just want to watch this video yeah, and tell us we need we need don't reminders. we're gonna we need advice for ourselves Selves. as a record if i were able to cut people like this, it would actually save me a lot of time and a lot of headache in yeah. the long run. Yeah. So it, it is good just to be like, I have to remind myself, no, 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 I know this story, I know how it's gonna play, I know this, goodbye, and I need the confidence to say goodbye. To say, yeah, now you have the confidence. Now this I video the confidence. is the confidence. Next time you see someone who, who is super attractive, but they are have a boyfriend, what do you say to them? Call me when you don't have a boyfriend. Call me when you don't have a boyfriend. What do you say the next time you get uh, into a relationship and the guy keeps on talking about how he needs to get married? To a woman. Bye. Yeah. Go find your happiness. Yes, go find, go struggle with your sexuality, sexuality because your I own. am I am independent, I am confident. I des deserve someone who is with me and don't feel like they need more to validate who they are. Exactly. Yeah. You go, girl.